Hey, what's going on? Brad here, back with another toy hunt for you guys. I feel like it's been a little while. I'm back to hold my phone again. Uh, but yeah, I am back here at Target. Gonna do my best to find some stuff. I'm pretty, I'm pretty optimistic. I feel like uh, we've been seeing a lot of good reporting from other people out at Target, you know, coming across all kinds of cool new stuff. And recently, I don't know when that was. When was that? It was, a, it was recently, a few weeks ago, maybe I, I put up a video where we showcased that Jurassic moved up to the front of the aisle. So I'm excited to see if any changes have come from there. We know we've seen a lot of banners and things popping up all over the place, new items. So I hope, I hope we can find some. Hopefully I can do this all with one hand. I'm gonna go mask up, of course. Gotta stay safe as always. And uh, we're gonna head out on the hunt because I am, I am pumped. I have faith. Let's go find some stuff for Jurassic in the store. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Not, not what I expected to come across. I definitely was a little bit more hopeful, especially with Camp Cretaceous hitting and all that, but uh, pretty vacant, pretty vacant. We got two Camp Cretaceous items and uh, that's about it. And there are two items, or actually, I guess we got a few more with the uh, Snap Squad guys. Yeah, I never got around to getting this one, but it uh, looks like a lot of other people didn't either. <laughs> I don't know if these are new or not, but uh, it looks like we've got two of these. It's a great set. I love this set a lot. Um, Amber Collection, love that a lot too. <sighs> not looking good, guys. This is a bummer. This is a bummer. I definitely thought I'd see more. Um, same Snap Squad, nothing new there. Um, yeah. But uh, let's see, down here, um, Star Wars, all the way down here this time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, empty. I, it's like so bare bones. There's, yeah, there's obviously a few things here, but uh, I, I, can't, I just can't believe it. Where is everything? Where is everything? What are you gonna do? So, I thought I was out of the woods with the amber collection. You know, it, it dwindled a little bit, right? But, uh, nope. <laughs> nope. It was just hiding up here. All the rest of the amber collection just strewn about on top of an end cap in the back of an aisle. No clearance or anything either. So I don't know if you guys uh, have this, but uh, it's a new Star Wars book, and I am in the middle of uh, the audiobook. But uh, it's a new generation, I guess, of Star Wars storytelling. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty exciting to get some new Star Wars content for sure, even though it's not a movie or a show. Back here, uh, always like showing this stuff because it's like a lot of really cool collector stuff. But we got Gremlins. Got some Back to the Future still, a lot of Back to the Future, um, same old stuff, but uh, yeah, nothing else. All right, so uh, yeah, I was um, <laughs> I was fairly optimistic, I guess, when I went into the store. I, like I said, I've seen a lot of reporting. Uh, what's out there right now? We've seen a lot of people getting Plesiosaurus, uh, Stiggy, another Stiggy, a Monolophosaurus. Uh, is there other things? Maybe. I don't remember. But uh, those things in particular, I've been seeing a lot of that. Um, and there was something else, too, I thought. I don't know. But, um, yeah, none of that. None of that. Oh, yeah, I guess the, like, the marketing, the branding going up, the Jurassic World branding with the, the Rex and uh, the logo and all that good stuff, I guess. But uh, nothing. I, I thought for sure it would be there because I've I've given it a while. Like I said, it was a few weeks ago when I went and saw they moved up everything and the, the store was bare bones it was like somewhat after christmas i forget so i was like all right it's a little empty because of christmas and all that stuff but um yeah it's still empty even star wars still empty so you know star wars doesn't really have a lot going on right now i did showcase those books which i thought was really cool to see i've been listening to the audiobook so i'm like halfway through the audiobook uh, but it's cool to see them expanding that star wars universe in new directions completely new separate from what they've been doing so 
you know, that always makes me think about Jurassic and what can we do to, to separate Jurassic from the main storyline. Um, but uh, hopefully one day we can see some Jurassic stuff on the shelf like that. I don't know. Did, did the evolution of Claire ever make it to, like, Target or anything? I don't remember. Maybe? I forget. Um, but, uh, yeah, no no new Jurassic stuff. That was a bummer. A bummer. And, um, of course, it's an extra big bummer because of Camp Cretaceous being out right now. And it's like, you know, the show is just hitting. I kind of was hoping for a marketing push with some more Camp Cretaceous stuff. Uh, at least some stock, you know. You would think with a brand new show coming out that you would at least have a decent stock. But, uh, hey, they've got a decent stock of Amber Collection, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. <laughs> I really wish uh, Amber Collection was doing okay. But it seems to be like on life support. I don't know. This doesn't seem good. I know... You know, we've been seeing a lot of Amber Collection stuff pop up in other places. Uh, online, not in stores. So that, you know, that keeps me hopeful. So maybe this whole Target thing was just an experiment gone wrong. You know, maybe it just doesn't belong there. You know, of course, we kind of know it as like, hey, this is a little bit too expensive uh, of a thing, especially with the paint jobs we got coming up. Mm. No. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a little expensive for, for the aisles there. And I think it's showing, you know, pretty well that there's so much extra stock. And I thought we were good. I, th I think I even said it in the video. I'm like, oh, look, it's dwindling. It's not so bad. Walk around the corner and there's just a massive amount of them. So that was a bummer. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I think probably about it. It was a short video for you guys. So. If you uh, like more of this content, please follow us here at the Jurassic Park Podcast. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to stay safe out there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.